can just claim your life. You want to find out how? Stay tuned. <laughs> very personal stories about me, uh, of what it took for me to finally set myself free and find my healing journey when I was recently diagnosed and I was trying to find an answer and I couldn't find it wherever I was going, whatever I tried and things were getting very, very bad. So I want to invite you to take over you know, control over your life before, you know, there's an awakening, like I talked in another video, or before, you know, you're very frustrated and you're pretty much desperate, because I remember that's what it took for me. I had to really be desperate, and I, I don't want that to happen to you, and I know what it takes for you to empower yourself in your life is basically take control over your life is to take responsibility of everything, everything where you are. And I'm not trying to undermine things that have happened to us because I know for me in the past, you know, I felt like a victim because I kept running into shitty people, crappy people, and just takers or, you know, um, sometimes we feel like we're victims because, you know, we have, we don't have the parents we wish we had, or maybe one of our parents, you know, um, is not in our lives or things like that. For me, I also, sometimes I feel, you know, angry, but I'm trying to release it because I feel that if I would have had the opportunity to have more guidance or my education from where I went in I know I would have achieved more things in the time when we're children, we can't pick the school we go to or things like that. And there is something that where we are affected by other decisions that we didn't make, right? And we have to live with decisions that were made for us. But the truth is that, yes, there's events that really suck that happen in our lives yeah. or, you know, for example, I lost someone who I really cared about in a car crash and things like that that just made me feel like a victim. I'm like, why does these crappy things keep happening? But at the end, I made the decision that, yes, we are sometimes victims of circumstances that we can't control. And some events do require us to feel grief because some events are similar to losing someone, like just divorce or things like that, like breakups and things are, you have to acknowledge and go through the pain, but love yourself through it, like I always say, and, but just don't stay there, that's the bottom line, don't stay there, whatever, you know, happened, and allow yourself to grieve, but don't stay there, but after you have allowed yourself to go through the process and give yourself space for that and love yourself through it, the first thing is to say, I'm no longer going to be a victim. I'm going to take over my life. And yes, the past has happened and I, some things I didn't have control, but starting today, I will start making decisions. And I'm aware and I'm consciously now going to start making decisions and, you know, sometimes there's a period where we're just, like, picking up things that we did in the past, but that doesn't mean that you can't plant new seeds for the future. And there's a saying, I'll put the quote here. And today, you can be powerful by the decisions you make today, and you can plant new seeds for new, to have a new harvest for tomorrow. And the first step is to stop blaming, right? Now on, if I get upset, it's because I chose to get upset, because I chose to react in an angry way. Today, I'm going to stop blaming anything that happened. If I didn't go to school for what I wanted, now I can choose to focus on what I want to do. And letting go of blaming, you know, somebody else's fault is my co-worker's fault, it's my bad shitty friend's fault, 
No, starting today, I will stop blaming. And why does this work? Because it will keep you stuck if you don't stop blaming. It will keep you stuck in, in that story, in that you will keep leaving it and everything will suck you will everything will suck around you your environment what you do the people you surround yourself the other reason is because then you get stuck in denial land you won't be able to you know how i talk about emotional intelligence requires you to be honest with yourself and unbiased and have that introspection but if you're in denial land you're just deflecting it's everybody's fault and I don't take any ownership and you won't be able to really see what's happening and where you can set steps into action to change what's not working and you will remain a victim because then you will allow everyone else to have control over your decisions your life whatever you do so you're just going through the flow and the flow is going to take you wherever the flow wants you're not getting out of that and t reclaiming your life. And it's very important that you get out of the cycle like I did from blaming whatever's happening because time doesn't forgive. Time's gonna, you don't want to wake up one day and six years later and you're in the same spot that you didn't want to be. And it's because you didn't make any changes. So you can work on your mindset and decide that you will stop. Blaming when anything goes wrong, you will analyze what participation you had in it and you will not allow people to get you upset because you can't change people, but you can change the way you react to with others, like Wayne Dyer said. And you can start a new day. That's the beautiful of having a new day. There's always a new day when you can start fresh. You have a second chance. And that's the opportunity life gives us every morning. If you don't know how to cope, if you don't know skills that can help you be resilient, then you'll start to make it a goal that you will start searching and taking courses or reading things that teach you coping skills. And you can be proactive. And if you want to achieve a goal, you can do three things every day. Just focus on three things and you will get to it. Now, I know this is not the best thing you want to hear, but forgiveness will set you free. If there's things that happened in the past that are still bugging you, I'm not telling you to shut the door, you know, and ignore it. But you can practice the Ho'oponopono, which is a video that it's also in my YouTube channel that you can watch. And this will give you a new start and a fresh, clean slate for a second chance to start over. And the power to begin again starts from right now within you. Would you like to find out what's sabotaging your life? Take the quiz. Click there and answer a couple questions and you will get your free guide. It's a customized guide. You will get your customized result to match your answers. You can also text at 44222 and get my top seven favorite transformational books that I highly recommend. I will also be putting a link for the guide if you're interested below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and write in the comments if there's a specific topic you would like me to make a video about, if there's something in personal development, or if you're curious about how to build your emotional intelligence, post it below. Or, you know...